Welcome to TerraMind's feature overview video. Today we're going to review two versions of the TerraMind solution, TerraMind User Activity Monitoring, or UAM, and TerraMind's Data Loss Prevention, DLP. TerraMind UAM is our standard offering, while TerraMind DLP is a premium solution with additional features and functionalities. But first, let's find out what DLP means and if you need it. Data loss prevention is a strategy for ensuring your employees and vendors do not share critical data outside your organization, either accidentally or intentionally. With the help of data loss prevention software, businesses can classify what data is sensitive and then define protection rules for it. The system can then block, warn, or record anytime there's an attempt made to access, share, or change the data. As a TerraMind UAM customer, you already have a suite of capabilities at your disposal to monitor user activity and set rules that take action based on user activity. TerraMind DLP builds on this feature set including all of the TerraMind UAM features and adds content-based rules that control content sharing, allowing you to implement an effective solution to protect against data and IP leakage and other data exfiltration attempts. Let's take a quick look at the differences and similarities between the two. Both TerraMind UAM and DLP support key monitored objects like websites, screen, applications, networks, and others. TerraMind's DLP adds some additional monitored objects like the clipboard and optical character recognition. It also enhances TerraMind's UAM capabilities for emails, files, and instant messengers by adding new content-based policies. TerraMind DLP also brings additional benefits to the behavior rules engine by adding content discovery and data loss prevention features. Similar to monitored objects, it enhances existing UAM features like user monitoring and policies for regulatory compliance. In the next few minutes, we're going to outline key features of TerraMind UAM. We will then follow that with a demonstration of TerraMind DLP and its unique capabilities. This video has several parts, each covering a unique feature. Please take a look at the description below to find out when each part starts. Feel free to skip to the part that interests you the most. The dashboard and interface are identical for both TerraMind UAM and TerraMind DLP. You get all options like monitoring, risk, and productivity. One of the primary features offered by TerraMind is its behavior rules engine where you can define rules for categories like agent schedule, user activity, and content sharing. Agent schedule and activity come within the TerraMind UAM offering. We include several pre-built policies with this package so you can start implementing them right away. Content sharing is unique to the DLP offering, making it an addition to the UAM offering. So if you're on the DLP plan, you automatically have everything that TerraMind has to offer. Let's take a look at a rule based on agent schedule, which comes with the UAM offering. In this particular case, we created a PCI DSS compliant rule where TerraMind will disallow RDP login to a server during off hour periods. You can create similar rules focused on schedules like employees starting or leaving a shift late, employees who are absent, or for those who show up on their day off. You can then generate alerts based on their violation. This feature is particularly useful when dealing with a remote workforce. Let's take a look at the activity category, which is also included in the UAM offering. With this rule category, you can track nine types of activities like websites, applications, keystrokes, and others. Each of these objects have many options, allowing for multi-condition policies. You can also set a time when the rule will be active and then define what auto action will be taken based on the violation of those conditions. Let's take a look at some use cases for this rule category. For example, here's an activity rule for web pages. It prevents users from visiting gambling sites by specifying conditions on the website's URL. You can also set other conditions like website category, query, active time, and others. Here's an example of an activity rule for instant messaging where you can stack policies against various instant messaging applications. You can create many conditions to limit or block actions like what employees can communicate, who they can and can't communicate with, limiting chat options like incoming messages or outgoing messages, and the number of messages sent or received. In the case of email activity, here's an example where you can set a policy to block webmails, flag for any attachments, and get warned if the email size is greater than a set limit. There are many other options you can utilize for creating multi-condition policies. With keystrokes, you can flag keyboard entries matching a defined sequence of numbers like a social security number, account number, or credit card number. You can also flag for simple text containing sensitive keywords like the word confidential, an employee name, or any other word or phrase you predefine. 
Similarly, you can create activity-based rules for files to block file operations like read, write, upload, or download, and attribute them to all files or for specific folders and drivers, including external media devices. With browser plugins, you can block certain browsers, plugins, and permissions. You can explore various other activity-based rules on objects like printing, networking, and others on our demo site at terramine.co forward slash sim, or by clicking on the online demo button on our homepage. As you have just seen with agent schedule and activity-based rules, you can monitor and control nearly any aspect of user activity. Moreover, for any of the rules we mentioned, you can specify the days and hours for which the rule should be active. With all these combined, you have a platform which allows for flexibility and still makes it easy for you to create and manage policies without having to involve your IT department. Being able to monitor and control user activity and schedule is great. They can assist with employee management, increasing productivity, and serve as an early warning system for insider threats. But what about the actual content? After all, content is your main asset and intellectual property. How are you going to protect it? How do you know a seemingly innocent action like a user sending out an email with an image attachment isn't an attempt to circumvent your document sharing policy? The image itself might actually be a list of your customers. This is where Terramine's DLP and content sharing rules come into play. As you have noticed in the first part of this demo, most of the policies you can create on the UAM package are based on unique user actions. So the focus with activity is what is the user doing and whether or not we want to be notified and let Terramine take automated action. With content, the focus is first, what is the user touching, and second, what he plans on doing with it. As an analogy, think about a car with valuables sitting in a lot. Activity-based rules are designed to prevent someone from stealing the car, but they can still open the door and take whatever valuables are inside. With content sharing rules, the rule will not only prevent the theft of the car, but also prevent the valuables from within the car from being stolen. Terramine's DLP offering adds two new monitoring objects you can track and adds intelligent content analysis to three existing objects. The new objects are OCR and clipboard, while the revamped objects are files, emails, and instant messengers. We will now show you some examples of how the additional functionalities may come into play. In the first example, you can see a rule designed to comply with HIPAA. For those of you who are not familiar, HIPAA is a compliance standard for privacy and data loss prevention in the healthcare industry. In this rule, we have used advanced OCR capabilities to detect when users are exposed to sensitive data. In this case, we have defined the sensitive data to be ICD-10 codes and drug and disease names in non-approved websites and applications. Using this example, you can apply OCR to build powerful alerts that can take action when certain text is detected on the screen and even in scenarios where the text is a part of an image, in remote desktop sessions, and in Java applications. In the next example of Terramine's DLP offering, we will show you a rule you can create to prevent common data leaks with day-to-day -day copy and paste operations. With clipboard-based rules, you can, for example, block copying of customer data from your CRM site or prevent users from copying social security numbers from an Excel spreadsheet and then pasting it on an email client like Outlook. Now let's take a look at additional DLP functionality you can add to monitored objects that you may have already used in Terramine's UAM offering. We will start with emails. In the first part of the video, you have already seen that with activity-based rules, you can do things like preventing users from adding attachments, blocking webmail access, limiting mail direction, and many others. Terramine's DLP offering adds the ability to scan the content of any attachments, as well as matching content in the mail body to predefined data classes. For example, Terramine can scan for sensitive information like credit card numbers, social security numbers, or health records. These are particularly useful for various compliance requirements as well. Here we've set up a content-based condition that will warn the user, notify both legal and human resources, in a scenario where the user receives an email that contains threats to take legal action against the organization. Similar to emails, with Terramine's DLP offering, you get the same advanced content detection capabilities with a files object. In addition to creating rules for file operations like read, write, or copy, you can now determine conditions based on what's inside the file. In this example, we've created a rule to prevent sharing of a document that contains a confidential watermark. Like files and emails, you can do some new and interesting things in relation to content awareness with the instant messaging object under Terramine's DLP offering. While with Terramine's UAM offering, you can do things like blocking certain instant messaging applications or limiting how many messages a user can send or receive, 
With Terramind's DLP offering, you can improve on instant messaging policies for productivity. For example, you can use the following rule as a monitoring tool for your customer service department. In this example, an alert will be sent to the department supervisor if the customer service agents don't respond to complaints or queries coming through the instant messaging channels. You can further determine the severity of the issue by flagging specific keywords like late or urgent, or by setting up a threshold for the frequency of the incident using the advanced mode under the rules action tab. Last but not least, with Terramind's DLP offering, you get more coverage to meet regulatory compliance like HIPAA, GDPR, PCI DSS, and others. For example, as you can see in the behavior policy screen, while you could use activity and agent scheduling rules to meet some of these requirements, most of the rules under PCI, DSS, and HIPAA are using the content sharing feature unique to Terramind's DLP offering. This is because these compliance standards require you to define the sensitive data, prove you have measures in place to protect them, and finally record and report any data loss incident, making Terramind's DLP offering an ideal candidate to achieve compliance. So just to recap, you can continue to use Terramind's UAM offering to monitor user activity, detect insider threats, and identify security risks. But by upgrading to Terramind DLP, you get all the benefits of Terramind UAM plus industry-leading data loss protection in a single platform. You can also meet various privacy and regulatory compliance requirements more efficiently with the DLP functionality. And finally, peace of mind knowing you are covered and protected under the full umbrella of Terramind's feature-rich solution offerings for data security. To upgrade to Terramind's DLP offering, log into your Terramind dashboard Click the My Account tab and then select Subscription. You have the flexibility to subscribe monthly or annually. Alternatively, you can email us at upgrade at terramind.co and we will process the upgrade for you. So upgrade now. It's seamless and you will not lose any of your existing rules or dashboard customizations under the current UAM plan.